With Season 10, we saw the release of a new world type in CFEs called Safer Seas. So let's learn everything that there is to know about it and find out if it's a viable way for you to play CFEs. So Safer Seas is just that. It's a game mode where the seas are safe. And when I say safe, what I mean is in Safer Seas, you can play CFEs almost exactly as you can in the main game mode High Seas, but without the risk of any encounters with other players. Although there have been a couple of little adjustments made in terms of what you can actually do in this game mode. First off, let's talk about what you can do in Safer Seas. Just like High Seas, you can still progress your planner pass earning the exact same amount of renown as you would normally be able to earn in the main game mode. You can also still purchase any cosmetics from the outpost or sea post stores meaning you can sail around in style. Alongside that you can also do and complete any tool tales without interruptions. This includes the pirate's life tool tale with jack sparrow to unlock the jack sparrow line of cosmetics, the heart of fire tool tale where you'll progress to unlock the ashen curse and the shores of gold tool tale to earn the gold curse. This will make it a lot easier to complete these tool tales as I personally know how frustrating it is trying to complete a tool tale just to have someone come along and try try and initiate a fight. You can still use any type of ship that you would like, whether that be a sloop which is a 2 player ship, a brigantine which is a 3 player ship, or a galleon which is a 4 player ship. And Safer Seas isn't just a solo world type, with this you can still invite any of your Xbox Live friends into the session making your experience 1000 times better as sailing the seas is always better with friends. You can also still earn gold, with the only difference being the rate at which you earn gold is you'll be earning gold at a reduced rate of 30% of the standard 100% that you would earn in high seas. You can also still earn reputation towards your trade companies with the possibility to reach up to level 40 in Gold Hoarders, Merchant Alliance, Order of Souls and the Hunter's Call. Now with all of those things that you can do in Safer Seas, let's talk about what you can't do. First of all, with the biggest being you're not able to reach Pirate Legend. For this you'll need to play High Seas as to reach Pirate Legend you must be level 50 in 3 different factions. Although you can get to level 40 in different trading companies, there are 2 trading companies that you won't be able to progress towards at all, with those being the Reaper's Bones trading company and the Athena's Fortune trading company. To progress these factions you'll also have to be playing on high seas with the risk of other players coming to interrupt your voyage. You will also not be able to raise any emissary for any trading company which if you didn't know already lets you earn gold and reputation for whatever chosen company at an increased rate with a level 5 emissary giving you an extra 150% of reputation and gold at the time of selling your loot. You will also not be able to participate in live events such as Golden Glory which if you didn't know is an event where all players earn double the standard gold and reputation. Not only that but you will also not be able to take part in the new Skull of Siren Song voyage that was also just released in Season 10. There are a couple of other small changes, but those are the main ones. It's now up to you to decide if this game mode is right for you and your friends. Or maybe you've decided that you can recommend this game mode to someone who is interested in Sea of Thieves but is too worried about learning the game without getting targeted by seasoned players. And the main selling point of Safer Seas is that it will be used as a stepping stone for new players to grasp the game's core mechanics before sailing in high seas amongst other players. It's also great for parents who may like to play with their children in Sea of Thieves uninterrupted for a positive gaming experience. And I really hope that it is used for its intended purpose as it does in fact encourage new players to play Sea of Thieves and still have a great time with their friends while still learning the game itself risk free.